Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit this lovely stitch. As you can see, it is unique and I fell in love with it. So let's get started on how to knit this lovely stitch. I'll just show it to you close by. See the texture? It looks like a basket weave stitch. This is the back and there's tricks to create the stitch. As you can see, it looks like a basket weave, but it these edges looks like it's rounded. So that gives that nice look. So let's get started on how to knit this lovely stitch. Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using this yarn. It's pretty, pretty scratchy. Um, I haven't washed it, so I'm planning to wash it. Uh, again, this is going to be for the homeless, and I am going to show you a new stitch that I have recently found, I believe in Pinterest. And uh, so there's no pattern. <laughs> so what I did is... I wrote it down here. Let me see. So what you need to cast on is a multiple of eight plus five. Okay, and then you have to do this as at least two times, whichever you want to uh, create. So what I did I, I, is I cast on a total of 39 stitches here, and I did a couple of rows of rib just to give the edge of the scarf. So let's get started. And it really looks nice. I don't have a picture to show you, but that's okay. We'll uh, work on it. Let me change this background. So, uh, yeah, because it's light and I'm using uh, ivory color, so you won't get distracted. Okay, so I just flipped the board. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start knitting a total of... Uh, uh, four pearls. So I usually don't knit the first stitch because it's a scarf, right? I want to give a nice edge. So one, two, three, four. I'm counting that first stitch as well. And then we're going to do four knit. So four pearl, four knit. Again, one, two, three, four, and then four purl, four knit. Two, three, four, four purl, two, three, four, four knit, two, three, four, four purl, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, and the remain is five purl. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this was the right side of the work. Now I'm turning my work. What we're going to do is, so I just finished row one and we're going to start row two. So what we're going to do is two knit, two purl, one knit, four purl. So this is one part of the stitch. So I'm just going to cross this. And then we're going to repeat this as long, as many as you need. So again, um, I did, uh, again, it's, uh, well, one, I don't knit. So I just sl slide that uh, stitch. So I put down two knit just in case. So when you repeat it, it actually one knit two purl, one knit, four purl. So this is the second of the stitch. And then you repeat, we repeat this until, uh, until up to the end. And uh, let's see, okay. So again, this is the wrong side of the work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit, see uh, the first one, the, sorry. <laughs> the first one, I just slide it. 
me just move this a little bit here. So the first one I just slide, and then actually it is knit, purl, oh, going up again. One, two, purl, one knit, and then four purl. One, two, three, four. So we this is one section. You can put a stitch marker if you want. It's up to you. And the next one, again, it's going to be one knit, two purl, one knit, and four purl. One, two, three, four. So we, we finish the second section. Now the third, again, it's going to be one knit, two purl, one knit, and then four purl, three, four. So if we finish the third, now this is going to be the four. So I have a total of four that I uh, cast on to create the stitch. So one knit, two purl. One knit, one, two, three, four, one knit, two purl, and the last one is a knit. Okay, so let's turn our work, and this is how it looks like. I know it's really hard to see, but the more we knit, the more you will see the stitch. Okay, on the third row, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row one and row two for a total of six rows. So row one and row two for six rows. So I'm going to go over and over until I come to the sixth six row. Okay. And I will repeat this and I'll be right back. Well, I'll, I'll do it with you. <laughs> okay, let's make this clear enough. So I'm going to do four purl. One, two, three, four, two knit, four knit, three, four. Four purl. Four knit. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four knit. One, two, three, four purl. One, two, three, four knit. And the last remaining five is a purl. I'll just knit like this so it will give you give me that nice edge. Okay, so the wrong side is again repeat what we did on the second row. So that would be two knit, two purl. One knit, and then you will see automatically, see, the stitches are showing itself. One, two, three, four, one knit, two purl, one knit, five purl, as you can see, see, uh, four purl, it's showing, it's already showing. One. Two, three, four, one knit, two purl, one knit, one, two, three, four, one knit, two purl. One 
it. And, oops, four pearl. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Four pearl. One knit. And, uh, I can't remember what we did here. So this was a pearl. So I will finish it with a pearl. And the last I'm going to do it this way because of the edge I'm just going to knit. So I'm going to repeat to see the stitches becoming, as you can see, this would, stitch would be perfect for uh, Aran sweaters if you're knitting Aran sweaters. I'm planning to knit one for my son and uh, well, I need to knit more. So I'll come back. Uh, I'll knit two more rows and I'll be right back. Uh, that's why I'm sharing you the stitch. So uh, when I do the tutorial for the sweater... I can refer how to knit the stitch to this video and then you can get the idea. So I'll knit two more rows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I knit the two more rows and this is how it looks like. Can you see the magical stitch? And this is the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to make knits on top here and then a pearl on top of here so it's going to be the opposite okay and then it's going to you can make baby blankets as well with the stitch because it's it's like a uh wavy weavy uh, i don't know i really like the stitch so i i just wanted to share it with you and i like different stitches so for, this is row seven and what we're going to do is we're going to start with knit. I'm just going to slide this first stitch because it gives me this nice edge. It's a, going to be a scarf. So one, I'm counting that one as well. Two, three, four. Remember we, uh, we did pearl for pearl for knit. Now we're doing the opposite. So one, two, three, four knit. I'm sorry, four pearl, <laughs> and four knit, two, three, four, four pearl, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, knit, and four pearl, two, three, one two three four knit and four pearl okay this time we're going to end with five knits two three four Again, if you want to make it wider, like I only use, cast on a total of 39 stitches, right? If you want to make it wider, what you do is, uh, like I said, uh, what you do is uh, 8 times 5. So, I think it's more. Yeah, I think it's 8. I'm not quite sure. I haven't figured it out. I just added multiple, so I have a total of 3 I believe three here I count it so one yeah okay anyways I, I'm not quite sure how many multiple but I thought it was uh yeah eight times five plus five stitches okay so this is going to be the wrong side and we're going to start with five pearl because we ended with five knit remember just show you again if you want to screenshot it you're welcome to screenshot it let me focus this you can screenshot it that's my notes <laughs> uh, if I have time I will write down the pattern below under the uh, video or else I do have a blog I can write it there as well and I'll put the link below again lots of people don't know how to go below on the description box they still ask me for a 
links even I put the links below <laughs> or I can screenshot it and put it on my Instagram page yeah you can look at it if you don't know how to screenshot you can do it that way as well okay so I did five knit I'm sorry five purl gonna do one knit two purl one knit okay so this would be one section now we're starting the second section so that would be four purl two three four one knit two purl one two one knit okay now we're starting the second section uh, four purl three four one knit two purl one knit okay so this uh, I'm starting the new section can't remember how many I did <laughs> so uh, four purl one two three four one knit two purl one knit okay four per four purl two well I'll just end it with all the pearls okay so I finished the second row so I'm going to report re repeat again the first row and the second row what I just did okay and then you can see the stitch is becoming okay I'll just do it with you guys together so I'm going to repeat row seven and row eight so we repeat this, this uh, two rows three times we repeat it so it would be seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so I'm going to knit four stitches purl four stitches 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 and the remaining five is going to be knit stitches okay now we're going to work on the wrong side of the work and this is how it looks like purl five stitches knit one purl two knit one you will see the stitches when when we start the second row uh third uh, this is the fourth row actually you will see the stitches like they will be in front of you so you don't have to check your notes if you're checking notes like i said it's a repeat of six rows every six rows we repeat the same rows over and over four purl one knit two purl one knit four purl
magnet two pearl one knit four pearl one knit two pearl one knit the remaining four is pearl okay so i'm going to knit two more rows and i will come back and we will start the new section see this is the back okay so i finished and now we're going to restart what we did here so it's like i said it's a repeat so every six rows we change it and then this is how it looks like i just fell in love with this stitch, stitch and i said to myself this would be perfect for boys because usually most of the stitches patterns are for girls and for females and uh they give they have that feminine look so i thought to myself this would this would be perfect for scarves hats cardigans sweaters anything that you can imagine so i will show you one more time how to change it around i know it looks like it's uh, complicated at the beginning but it's not so we just repeat we just repeat the six rows and then we we come back and we we twist it we change it around like a crisscross that's how we do it we change it so uh, now on the knit part it's going to be a pearl on the pearl it's going to be a knit and uh, we, we do these magic stitches on the back as you can see and it gives you this nice effect look i just fell in love with it and i just had to share with my lovely 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 subscribers who's been subscribing me <laughs> okay so let me just okay and focus it so you won't be you won't see it blurry so how we started we did four pearl four knit four pearl four knit right so like i said i usually i don't knit the first stitch so i'm just gonna slide that so it gives me this nice edge So what I see on the knit, I do the purl. And on the purl, I do the knit. Four knit. Two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Four knit. Four purl. Four knit, two, three, four, four purl, all the way to the end, four knit, and four, uh, the remaining is five purl, just like this. Well, the last one I just knit it because it gives me this nice edge at the end okay so on the back we're going to repeat row two and that is two two knit which one I, the first stitch i just slided two knit two purl one knit if we just go on the below you can see what we did so we're repeating that back side And then we're going to do four purl, one knit, two purl, one knit, and then we're going to do four purl, one, two, three, four one knit two purl one knit four purl two. 
one knit, <laughs> two purl. I was just looking on the below what I did. So uh, if you get lost, just go on to the, uh, not the next one, but the previous one. And then you will see what you, what you did. See, I do the knit. If you get lost, one knit, four purl. Just like this. One knit. And I see that I did the remaining are pearl. <laughs> you get lost. It's just a trick. You know, you just go to the the previous, not the previous, but the one below. And you just follow that. So I'm going to repeat this uh, four more rows. And I will come back to show you how it looks like. Okay, so I finished another set. And this is how it looks like. So for the next, I am going to do is I'm going to start doing what I did here. So it's a repeat every six rows. We repeat and repeat. And it gives you this. Can you see how it looks like? Like the squares are not totally squares. It looks like a round. Here it kinds of the edge rounds it up. I don't know. That just, uh, I, I fell in love with it. I don't know. It's, it's really hard to explain. So I'm going to knit a couple of rows and I will show you at the beginning of this tutorial and uh, i hope you like it so grab your yarn that you have in your stash <laughs> try to use your stash i did lots uh, for 2020 i used lots and lots of yarn from my stash especially for the homeless that i have knit scarves and hats so uh, this is going to be my first for 2021 so I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, share it with your family and friends. I really would appreciate that. It helps me to buy more yarn. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I am going to be opening um, a yarn haul package when, as soon as they arrive. I think I ordered about three or four big boxes. One is again over 10 kilograms. <laughs> I, actually two is over 10 kilogram and uh yeah i just can't stop buying yarn because uh, it helps me and it helps you guys right for the yarn giveaway of course so stay tuned happy knitting